Hey everyone, it's Asa here and welcome to my channel. For this video, we are going to be doing my nails. Well, technically only one hand. Um, as you can see, I have no nails on. I told you guys in the last video that I kind of wanted to take a break from nails, but I am going to be using some rubber base, not rubber base, some peel off base coat. So you are going to see how I remove them off at the end. But all I have on right now is a shiny top coat. You would normally go ahead and go and do and prep your nails prior to doing your nails but as I stated I want to take these off right after so I'm just leaving them as is and I am just going in right now and I'm going to cleanse my nail plates and I'm just removing any kind of oils so when I do apply the base coat it won't try and peel off automatically even though in the middle of me doing my nails they try to come off anyways but yeah so I'm just using my nail cleanser and just removing any kind of oils, any kind of dirt. If I see anything on the surface that I don't want there, I'm just going to remove it with this. Um, now for the peel off base coat, this is from Amazon and it's called UNT Ready for Takeoff. So what I do is I just go ahead and I apply a layer of this on all of my nails and I do let it air dry for about a minute and a half. It actually dries pretty quick, but every time I want to do my nails and I just wanna take them off right after, instead of damaging my nail plate, all I do is add a layer of this and I'm able to just peel it away at the end and then I'll still have the design saved and I can just save it and put it on display. This Christmas now for this design, I am going to do some extendo nails. I'm going to take these extra long square nail tips and I'm actually going to apply two of each to my nails. I do go ahead, I size them out and whatever size that I have for that nail, I do take another one and you are going to see me doubling up and gluing them on. This nail design is just a fun design. I personally will, I can't wear my nails this long. I just felt like I was so uncomfortable. I felt like my fingers were like getting, you know like when you get tongue tied? Well, I felt like my fingers were were finger tight. I don't know. It was just so weird. I kept getting so confused on how to hold certain things. It was the oddest thing. I love long nails, but these were super, super long. But I just thought it would be a fun um, design to do to do extra 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 long nails so yeah all i'm doing is i'm going ahead i'm gonna go ahead and use my rubber base gel and i'm going to add the tip on the other tip first lining them up straight and then you are going to see me go ahead and apply them on myself using the same rubber base gel you can see the sparkle in my Oh my god guys these things were so long but i just felt so like extra with them i don't know <laughs> so i was actually trying to practice as well how to hold my fingers when i foul but i was so scared that the tip itself was going to just peel right off the base gel that i didn't even bother going in with a hand file. i just went straight in with the drill i'm using a 180 sanding band and i'm using this at i think i put this up to like 7000 rpm and i'm going to blend the second tip in to the first i didn't even bother trying to blend in the tip onto my natural nail because i do have that peel off base gel and it was kind of like you know like what's the point you know kind of so this is just for fun anyway like I said I'm taking it off so I am going to be skipping a lot of steps in this video but once again all I'm doing is I'm just taking that drill and I'm just going to blend that first tip into the second tip so it has just a better transition for when I'm applying the gel you won't see like that like a separation in between those two tips 
So from there, you would normally go in with your dehydrate to dehydrate your nail plate. Once again, I'm skipping that step because I do have that peel off base coat. I'm just going to go in right now and I'm going to be applying a pretty thick amount of the rubber base gel. And this, I'm adding a little extra because once again, I did not blend in the tip into the nail plate. So there was a little lump almost, like a gap you could see. So that's why I did go ahead and I just applied a little extra of that rubber base gel now if you was doing this on a normal set you would go in and apply a small amount of base gel rub it into your nail plate and then do a full cure for 60 seconds Now for these extendo nails, I wanted to do a winter themed using my Milky White and Crystal Clear Hard Gel. So I just started off by going in with the white first, applying it to the thumb only up in that cuticle section. And honestly, I wasn't really sure how I wanted to do it. So this set is basically like a freestyle of me just like winging it throughout the whole video. Um, so I just took some of the white and the clear and then at this point is when I decided I wanted it to be a little bit of like a marble effect. So you are going to see me alternate between the colors and then I'm um, trying to just mix it around, swirl it. And then once I was kind of satisfied with how it was looking, I do go ahead and I do uh, cure it for at least 30 seconds. Um, and then I'll be able to go on to the next nail. There's no way that I could ever repay you. For the pointer, I decided I wanted to do a full milky white nail. Um, and I want to say after I did that first thumbnail, my nail felt so heavy with the length of it and the amount of builder gel that I used. My nail felt so heavy and I did want to mention when I first did that thumb, I, did, I didn't really pay attention to the apex of it because we are going to go in, add some glitter and different fun stuff and then we're going to encapsulate. Um, so basically this, these layers that I'm applying right now is kind of like the background for what we're going to add on top so once again as i'm applying this gel i am doing you know somewhat of a medium to thin layer um and i am curing in between because these nails were so long i did have to flash cure them a lot just so the gel wouldn't move and it was cold in my house but the light itself was like warming up the gel like it took me a long time to do these nails so yeah i am curing in between um i am flipping my finger over if i need to if i feel like the gel is running into the cuticle and yeah i will never take for granted the way you took my hand and led me along the path where i should be so i put you first moving on to the middle nail this middle nail is going to be once again the clear and the white but for the white part the milky part i'm going to apply that up towards my actual nail plate going down in an angle and then i focus on the bottom corner so the middle section is clear now you could kind of see where I did add that second tip in but I wasn't really too worried about it because like I said we are gonna go in and I'm going to add some fun stuff to the nails and I could easily just cover it up either you know with some glitter I'm gonna add some snowflakes and we're just gonna make it look cute and you know hide all those little imperfections For the ring nail, I decided I wanted to do a crystal clear nail. So once again, I am going to add a thin layer of this clear and then I do I take a larger amount and I float that on top. But my room was, like I said, cold, but the gel was warm because of the lights itself. I didn't even need to take out my heater for this. 
But one thing I do always say is adding thin layers. I do flip my finger over, like I said earlier, just so gravity could kind of, you know, work in my favor. As I'm also applying the gel, I am tipping my finger down. Um, I honestly thought it was going to be harder to do these nails because they were so long. But for some reason, I kind of felt like they were easier and it was weird to me, like how easy these were actually you know how easy I was able to create these extra long nails like these things were so long and I still can't get over how long they were I did end up measuring them and they were exactly at nine inches which is ridiculous like I oh my god these things were so heavy but yeah now you just finished watching this one you're gonna see me just flipping it over and just trying to make sure you know it's all there for the pinky, once again, we're going to do an all white nail. Um, and like I said, we're going to add a lot of stuff to it. So I wasn't really focused on the thickness. I was just trying to make sure I had an even consistent layer of that milky white color. So I do brush a lot rather than float. Um, and that just helped me even out. I am trying as best as I can to not... I'm trying to, my best as I can to make these sidewalls straight as crisp as I can. Um, so you do see me cleaning up those sidewalls a lot with the brush. And it's just going to be easier for me when I go ahead and file at the end. So I did go ahead and do a full cure for 60 seconds. And you guys, I was so impressed how long these are. Y'all, this is like so extra. <laughs> so I ended up taking out a lot of different glitters. This one is from Kitty's Claws. I take out a couple glitters from Set Snail Co. I, actually, majority of the items that I am taking out are from Set Snail Co. Um, rather than trying to link every little thing, I am going to just leave the websites for where you can purchase these items because there's so many different stuff that, that, um, she sells and it'll just be easier like that for you guys. But uh, all of the snowflakes that I am going to be using are from Set Snail Co. The only thing that is not from Set Snail Co. was that first glitter that I showed you. The chrome, it's like other uh, metallic flakes I'm going to be using. And these little round circle pieces. Those are not from Set Snail Co. But everything else I am using on these nails are from Set Snail Co. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to add a thin layer of crystal clear hard gel to all of the nails. I knew for a fact I want to glitter on all of the nails um, and like the sequence little glitters that I pulled out. I just didn't know exactly what the physical plan was. So like I said earlier, I'm just winging it and just playing it how I think it will look good. I do go ahead and skip the ring nail because I knew for a fact I wanted to add a lot of bling to this. So that ring nail is going to be a full blinged out nail, but all the other nails I applied that crystal clear builder gel to it. Um, I left them uncured and then that's when I went ahead and started adding all of the little glitters and the sequences to the nails. I do go ahead and add it with some, with a little detail brush just so I could be a little kind of precise about it even though I kind of like just spread it all of this around it still came out really cute but you know I kind of had an idea in my head but once again I was just playing it one at a time just trying to see how I wanted to go about this the fact that the nails were super long you know it made me a little bit nervous but yeah I just kept going with it and I think it just ended up coming out really cute the fact that I had all these little different types of shapes and glitters in it it made it look really nice now I did go ahead I started off with the smaller glitters first and then I worked my way up to the larger glitters um and when it came to the larger ones I only did like maybe like three little pieces on each nail but once again once I was kind of happy with everything and satisfied you are going to see me take some saran wrap and I wrapped it around the nail because the snowflakes itself was kind of popping out of the sides and I didn't want anything to be fouled off at the end after encapsulation so I just took that saran wrap and I wrapped it around the nail trying to make the snowflakes 
corners bend down and then I stuck the nails inside the lamp I did do this one at a time just to make sure all of the little snowflakes was pressed down firmly into the gel um, and like I said this just helped make um, the little snowflakes lay flat so when I go ahead and encapsulate nothing is like sticking up I did go ahead and peel off the saran wrap after each nail. I just wanted to mention that um, I don't leave the saran wrap on. But from there, I do go ahead and I take my crystal clear builder gel and I start encapsulating these nails. And this is when I focus on that apex and just adding a whole crap load more gel on top. Like I said, these things were so freaking heavy. It was like insane. But I think I almost used like half my bottle with <laughs> these nails. It's just so funny. But anyway, um, once I do one nail, I do go ahead. I uh, flash cure that in place for at least 30 seconds. And then I move on to the next nail. I can feel the presence all around me. If love was made of water, I'd be drowning. Grateful that I'm here and that you found me The way you show love is astounding Keep this moment Keep the caught with the repeat on it Keep it on, gotta keep it flowing It's silent, but the love's outspoken Yeah, the love's potent oh, Never wanna leave So good that it's hard to believe Almost like this got me feeling right I can feel the sun even in the night Cause I am surrounded From there, I'm going to go ahead and start cleansing my nails. Using my nail cleanser, I'm going to remove that sticky layer. Once again, this took a little while because these nails were super long and I was kind of afraid of doing it too rough because I didn't want the nail to pop off because of the peel off base coat. Um, The pointer was ready to come off. She was like, I'm done. Just take me off. But she held on to the end. So once I remove all of that sticky layer, I do go ahead and I I start hand filing these sidewalls and that free edge straight now I could not for the life of me stay in shot trying to do this once again like I stated I was worried that the nails was going to pop off and they were because I was kind of being a little rough trying to file these nails um, so I did end up just doing it off camera and filing these sidewalls straight trying to hold it down in place and yeah, I was struggling. Like, yeah, I was struggling. So once I did the hand filing, the sidewalls and the free edge straight, I do go in with my uh, drill. I'm using my fine taper drill bit. I'm using this at 22,000 RPM. And this is where I started going around the cuticle and down the body of the nail to... Um, you know refine and make sure there's no lumps and bumps and even this part was kind of a challenge once again because of the freaking peel off base coat you know she was ready to give up on me <laughs> like yeah so um i tried my best to keep in all of the little clips that i could <laughs> I can feel the presence all around me. If love was made of water, I'd be drowning. I'm grateful that I'm here and that you found me. The way you show love is astounding. Keep this moment. Keep it caught with the repeat on it. Keep it on, gotta keep it flowing. It's silent, but the love's outspoken. Yeah, the love's potent. Oh, never wanna leave. So good that it's hard to believe. Almost like this got me feeling right. I can feel the sun even in the night. Cause I am surrounded by 
After the nail file, I do go in and I use my buffer to buff these smooth. Um, once again, I did kind of do that off camera as well, but this is what they are looking like. Super long and super extra. I'm loving it. <laughs> Um, and now we are getting ready to add some bling. I'm gonna go in and use my Bling It No Wipe Rhinestone Gel. And I do apply this to the entire nail, the ring nail. Since this is No Wipe, I don't need to worry about going in with some top coat. Um, but for this, I'm just making sure I'm doing an even uh, layer throughout the whole entire nail. And then I'm going to start adding some bling. I focus on the ring nail as well as the middle nail when it came to the bling. When it came to the other ones, I did go ahead and add a little bit of bling, but not as much. So for the ring nail, I'm going to do, I'm going to start off with these large crystals and work my way down the nail. Just doing the large ones and then I do highlight with these smaller crystals. Um... And like it's kind of hard to explain how to physically do it but I don't know I just play with it and what I like about the gel is you don't need to it's like not set in stone you don't need to cure it until you're fully satisfied with your nail crystal placement but yeah I just work my way down the nail with whatever I feel looks good and once I get to that tip, I do add one little last crystal just like finish off the nail. And then I move on to the middle nail. For the middle nail, I try to focus and stay towards the top section in the angle. And I do use larger crystals as well, just trying to keep it in the same direction that I want the design to go. And then add my smaller crystals around that. And then again, I just cure that in place. And like I stated before, when it came to the pinky, the pointer, and the thumbnail, I just focused around that top cuticle section making a little, I guess uh, you would call it, not a cuticle bar, but where the cuticle bar would go. I just lined it up around the cuticle section using these smaller crystals. And then I sporadically placed a couple of other crystals going down the nail as well. And then I did do a flash cure for each nail for at least 15 seconds to hold them in place. If love was made of water, I'd be drowning I'm grateful that I'm here and that you found me The way you show love is astounding Keep this moment Keep it caught with the repeat on it Keep it on, gotta keep it flowing It's silent, but the love's outspoken Yeah, the love's potent oh, never wanna leave So good that it's hard to believe Almost like this guy Last step, I'm gonna go in with my shiny no wipe top coat and I'm going to apply this all over the nails. I do my best to avoid the crystals itself because once you apply it on top of the crystals, it kind of makes the crystals like rounded and kind of lose the shine a little bit. So once again, I try my best to um, go around the crystals and I do end up curing in between each nail really quick just because I don't know like I just felt like doing it I guess because the nails are so long and I just didn't want the top coat to move uh, but yeah so I do go ahead and I do a final full cure for 60 seconds and this is the final look you guys i am loving the bling look at how long these are so these were nine inches long these are the longest nails that i've ever done ever worn but they are so pretty like i said i can't wear my nails this long so i did decide to just take them off right after i think i had these on maybe for like 10 minutes after the video and they were so easy to peel off they were ready to come off the weight alone of these nails yeah she was like I'm done take me off and I had no problem taking them off they just popped right off one two three but yeah let me know what you guys think of this design I am loving it I think they're so cute I'm probably gonna recreate this look but maybe a shorter version let me know if you guys enjoyed it if you enjoyed this video it was super fun to create and yeah this is probably I'll probably do another design something similar to the length but yeah let me know what you guys think of this design as always thank you everyone for saying so much to watch this video i hope you guys enjoyed it please make sure you guys are following me on all of my social media accounts and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and i'll see you guys in the next one there's no way that i could ever repay